will show you how to add a part to Roxim um, to the database so you can use it again later. This is just for adding a single part at a time, um, not importing whole parts files or anything. So um, you'll start with your rocket design if you have one. Um, and you can start with a nose cone or body tube. Um, if you're adding a different part, you can add those. Um, it will pop up the parts database, which in this case you're not using because um, you don't have a part in the database. It's what we're trying to add. So you'll open the generic part window and then go in and change your settings. Um, so you'll type in the parameters of your um, rocket that you have. Um, you can pull this from the um, manufacturer's website, possibly. I'm just making a <coughs> BT50 nose cone file. Um, make sure your part is out of something not custom. Once you have all your parameters in there, um, you go to the database tab and the manufacturer, um, you know, you could type in Apogee or if anybody, or if it's a custom part, you can leave it as custom or put your own name in. Um, part number, give it a part number, 24Z. Um, if you want a description, um, you don't have to fill it in. And then you'll click the Save to Database button. And so this is the database, and so it have the part manufacturer, the part number, and then the description is here. So if you have anything specific, um, that's where that's going to go. Um, and then click OK, and it should add it to the database there. Just didn't click OK hard enough. And so next time, if you do a new design. And I go into nose cones. I should now. Oh, there it is. I lost it. Um, it the PNC 24Z that I created. It's now in the database, and you can use it for all your other designs. The same thing applies to body tubes, centering rings. All of them have that database tab, so you can add them to your um, design.